Mini patterns call for an overlock type stitch, something that's going to prevent the edges from unraveling once you start washing it. So one of the concepts is, is that you need a stitch that's going to stitch and then jump off the edge. So you're looking for a stitch that jumps to the right. And if we go to the buttonhole stitch and then go one more group to this side, to the right of the buttonhole, these stitches, all three of them actually, the black stitch, the blue stitch, and the red stitch would be great for this. And I'm going to actually show you two different uses for this stitch, one on a single layer and then one actually for for an overcast and a seam all at once. So kind of like a serger. Now, if you don't have a serger, this will be your answer. But even to some of you who do have a serger or overlock machine, there's a time when that, might, that machine might be threaded up with white thread and you're working on black fabric. You only have to go a short distance. It's really nice to know which stitches of your own machine you can just rely on, go to, get it done, and don't have to like switch that serger all the way around just for a short seam. You would have been done before you had it re-threaded. So the one thing you do need to do is set up for the stitch length. I'm gonna go ahead and start about one for this first stitch and then how wide you want it to jump. I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna just go to four. We'll see how wide that stitch is and if I need to make it a little wider or narrower. So part of the goal is to set the foot down so that when we take the stitch and it jumps to the right, it's gonna go off the edge of the fabric. So usually I like to test out just a little bit to see where we are with the stitch, how close I've gotten it, and also where to guide it. I think I'm gonna go a little bit wider and just stitch. Part of it is just kind of guiding it all the way down. So you're kind of like not really in the center, you're not way out here, but just enough so that needle jumps off to the edge. So let's just see what we have so far. And as we look, we've got the stitch. Those edges are not gonna come unraveled any further. You can actually do an overlock stitch when you are first getting started. You're just doing a single layer all the way around, or you could sew your se seams together and overcast like both the stitches, both the fabrics together at once. So that is one of the looks. And then what if we wanted to do it like on a neckline? This is a piece, the white piece here is a piece of ribbing, which I'm actually gonna fold in half and line up the edges to be with the curve of the, like, like, it's like a t-shirt. So I'm gonna switch over to the other stitch, um, stitch blue, the blue, stitch blue, <laughs> the blue stitch, which is right. Um, I'm gonna make it all the way wide. I'm turning it to the blue S1 stitch. And then when you see this stitch, maybe I'll do half of it with one of the stitches and then I'll switch over to this stitch that is the uh, red stitch. So we'll do half on one and half on the other. So traditionally, you usually stretch the ribbing out as you go around the opening. Ribbing is usually smaller than the, the opening that you're going around. And so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to the red S2 stitch. So a little different stitch. But when it's done, I wanna show you that the stitch that it's creating right here along this edge. So it's overlocking it and sewing it all at once. So we don't have to go back and re-stitch anything. Plus the stitch is gonna have the stretch and give that we need for the edge of this edge. All right, get that stitch done. Okay. So here are the two different stitches. One this one, one this one. I kind of like the cleanness of this one. This one does have more stitches. So if you were to have something that had a lot of, um, almost like a terry cloth, where it'd have a lot of frayed out edges with that cut edge, that might, might be a good one to do. But they're all gonna give you the same result, that nice finished edge, the stretch, the give of that seam, and all done at once.